this is the, the this is the second one. So registration models, the project is done, imported, build it, and structure it. So then we have the really the the bigger one. The this is the, uh, the registration, the all the buildings, floor, floor, unit registration process with geometry. It uses this. I saw the same structure. That's I said. So you have the models, you have a registration. A repository you have a resource you have a service you have a service impel and utility and oh okay utility i didn't discuss yet so here this is the one of the most important part resource you see that my all the resources the your databases the connectivity your coding information some information the sql information i will show you the sql information later and you store the necessary information here so this is the spring boot profiles you see the profiles for the for the deployment profiles, for the development, production, QA, release, test, and QA, uh, user acceptance, and this is then. So this is the configurations. This Spring Boot for filing. That's I. That's I. I know you already get it. What I mean. So if you try to deploy the application into the production or QA or UA or rail or test department in department, that's just just give this structure. And they will change the properties files externally. Properties file they change their database name, and then they change their machine name, and then and the the which service version they are trying to install it. I will show you. I have it already there. I run those those microservices externally. It doesn't matter how how many machines that need to install. Just just run it, script it, run it, and it's it's automatically install the different machine. From there you can you can you can use this the, the endpoints. So let's have a start. This is our base projects, and this is our models. And that's I, I already discussed about this. The the build. You know, let's have a start with the with the plots, bigger one. So plot information. This plot has all necessary information. It has address ID, maybe some third party ID, maybe the provided but additional information. This is the expectation from from requirements. The plot ID, UID. And then the plot name, plot type, and then this is Mosin name number. And it, it did understand this is the, the official uh, naming suffix and prefix. I don't know how the, how they mean it. The remarks, and then it has a it has total total area. How many how much area the the plot is cover? The total ground cover, and number of buildings in the plot. I as I said have many buildings. So number of buildings and the <clears throat> and the the total height from the mean sea level. That means the from the average mean sea level. How how who how height. The how many how how height it is the from the from the mean sea level. If it is, it is the building is plot is located in the mountain area that you can get the pictures. And even though if you have the height information, then you can you can build the three D models for the for the for for your information. That's why I said this is a really complex application. To store the unnecessary information, and future you can you can think about how you can use it any any purposes. If you try to to make 3D models or, or 4D models, uh, depending what you mean. 4D means time time stamp. If you have a, you, if you simulate the city as a 3D models with the times, maybe historical time, maybe 2000, 2010, 2020, or 1990 or 1998. And this depending uh, how the simulation works, and then you can get the pictures like how the the change pattern, the control pattern is 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 done, or how the development pattern done. That's why I said put store the all necessary information that we need, and then later we can use in the different purposes for this. So <clears throat> so it's uh, additional information I store here the the central information, the coordinate information uh, for latitude, longitude, and then that put it like. <coughs> And the pictures from the plots, one maybe they go to the Google Maps, take the mobile pictures, put it the pictures, and then you have a really clear idea where exactly the plot located. That's why. And the utility location maps means how many utilities, the electricity, gas, uh, water, sewers, and other facilities, how they connected those utilities. Maybe you you build the pictures and draw some 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 connectivity line networks and that, and get the pictures and put it there that means the city planner city engineer or governmental institute can see really which utilities is available for your on site into the your plot uh, or buildings or your floors or units that's what the idea to picture really pictures 
but it's depending uh, from the from the use cases but i found this use case is really good <coughs> so so the geometry information that i said the, the, the one to many related in the in my, my models the presentation i said this one to many geometry informations so let's go there so it's geometry everything same geometry id it has address id it has a plot id and then it has a building id it has a floor id it's the most important addition information so uh, with except the mapping part it's it's addition information if the user said okay we have a single page application i mean plot is an independent register geometry need to be registered before the plot registration is started so that means you start you build uh, the geometry uh, in the in the into the in here uh, let us let's see go there you build your geometry information here so you your plot or your buildings or your floor or your unit already store into the your backend server and take the respective id to 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 register your your plots or buildings or floor or units that means this is the one of the really systematic design like uh, of the distributing the workload for the for the city planner or city governments or city engineers to okay you have you, you first register your your address that means your registration process need to be done that means this this is the your registration microservices to be done this one and then this one sorry and then this is the your 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 infrastructure registration means your buildings plot and, and floor and image registration so that means every infrastructure or your objects you need to store geographically very fast and then you get the necessary your, your primary key and foreign key and then you can map it with the, okay i now i start i store my geometry uh, my my plots and the buildings of floor or units and then link to the my respective uh, what type of geometry I store into the database into the backend server and then give the keys that's why here put it here extra keys like address ID plot ID building ID floor ID because I have a plot buildings floor and unit ID and address ID is a third party ID maybe the open street map or Google Maps they have additional ID for the for any any objects even though this id you can store into the your your, your, your database so you take it or you digitize the information and then take the coordinate uh, id into the your, your data so that means the information you digitize it from different sources open street map google map or yahoo map doesn't matter or, or any satellite image or any gps doesn't matter so it has a reference and it has a reference id and address type category that means I, that's i said it's a what type of address is it is it is a plot address or is it buildings or flow this is the filtering criteria then later when you visualize these maps the all the maybe thousand ten thousand plots into the city or maybe thirty thousands buildings in the city and then maybe floor maybe thirty thousands maybe one hundred twenty thousands uh, floors on maybe maybe 150,000 units in the, in the city area that's depend uh, from the volumes of that how many storage buildings they have it so that's why i put it like what type of address or geometry information is a, is a plot buildings or floor or unit and for other registration case simply it's address it's a, it's official address or is a non-official address or it is it is the permanent address or temporary address for other other microservices that's we define in the, the last one so so it is a geometry store the geometry object is there and then then so we, we now we get the pictures like we one plot so when we register you can independently that's why i mapped it like one to many maps is a joint with the plpl id and then it's work if you don't doesn't provide any geometry when you try to register the plots that means uh, you can also register the plots without any geometry but in general case you store uh, in the same time if you are single page that i mean if you are the single page application you don't need to do and uh, you just need to build this plot first and then second page or second application you need to build uh, your, your geometry object take the geometry id and put it the geometry id in here and that means this is uh, related to the maps your foreign key primary key is related if you are the 
and not a single page application like ZSP or, or, or Grail, so and then so automatically, if you put it this information, you can put it multiple geometry objects and 